here we are live and direct. Nathan is I'm getting his to, scooter. I'm trying to find the uh, I have to reset it because I got the, the menu. I forgot how to do the thing. Yeah, awesome. I, oh, this is, uh, you know, you know. He's gonna love this if he has it. Yeah, and his scooter we went through so many breaks and tried to order a whole bunch of breaks. Oh my gosh, that was a night. That was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! It is here. Beast number two. What are we gonna call this one, babe? Because this one's a wolf, right? So it's a be it's a beast, you know. But do we call it the beast like the other one, or do we? Or is this gonna be something new? What do you think? Like, what's your opinion? Hmm. What do you think? Should we go with like keeping it as the beast? Yeah, because the beast the lives on. Yeah, the beast lives on. It, the it, king it's a, beast. It's, yeah, the king beast. King beast. And because it's evolved and it's ascended, so it's it's now, you know, an evolution to the, the beast. That's awesome. Yeah. Now we're going to go to Dutch Bros and get some coffee. What? <laughs> king beast in the house. Gold. KB, do you love me? KB. Are you riding? I feel like I just bought a Lamborghini. Ooh, Wait. let's go! King GT, you already know, one of the fastest scooters known to man. But I'm out here exploring, finding some cool spots. I'm gonna do a little flyby clip for you guys, kind of show you the speed of this thing, and uh, we'll adventure some more.
777. Let's go. Max speed, 65.4 miles an hour. All right. If you guys don't know about the Wolf King GT, I'm here to let you know that this scooter is literally amazing. It's everything that I've really wanted in a scooter when it comes to power, distance, performance, suspension, everything. Even the thumb throttle is really nice and smooth. The scent sine wave or scent, I think it's sine wave controller instead of the square controllers or something like that. They said this one's more smooth rather than the, when you press the trigger on the other ones, the one I used to have, it would uh, kind of jerk you a little bit. But I'm out here doing some speed runs, testing it out. And this scooter is literally just everything that I've ever wanted and needed. And it's amazing. The lights are amazing. The horn's pretty nice. The display, the display is super clean, super awesome. Tells you pretty much everything you need to know. Temperature on your motors, uh, how much battery, percentage, I mean, everything, time, distance, what you've ridden. Uh, super stylish scooter, it's pretty amazing. But I'm out here riding in Las Vegas in Henderson and uh, just seeing what I can get into. That dude drove by me with his head like this. It's like you want to wave and say hello to people and be nice, but uh, how do you be nice to people that don't want to have people be nice to them or even encounter? It's like, I mean, I get it. He's on his his electric bike. He's out here just trying to escape and explore just like me. But man, I'm telling you, people nowadays are just like hella awkward. And, you know, you can barely have a conversation with just some new person, like just meeting people because everybody got this weird stigma from social media, the, the TV news, all this stuff is like putting propaganda in your mind to where you can't even like have normal conversations or just say hello and wave to somebody because they're thinking all kinds of stuff in their head. So be careful with uh, today's times and like social media, watching too much TV, make sure you're getting out and exploring life to where you're having real experiences and not on your phone all the time or watching a video the best way to live your life is to have real experiences, which is being out and about meeting people, having, hanging out with friends, you know, just doing things, experiences, you know, whatever the case may be, that is your highest excitement. But just remember, just, you know, don't get stuck at home. Get out if you can. The weather is amazing right now. I actually have a jacket on and I'm in Vegas and Vegas is super hot. The weather just got amazing. So I'm going to continue riding on and uh, just having a good time. got cool bikes.
this is Arroyo Grande BMX track and I'm going to test out the Cabo Wolf King GT on these berms. Pretty cool little BMX track. Me and Johnny come here with our scooters and we hit the uh, the berms like that kid's doing right there. Just kind of cruise around. It's a really chill spot. The weather is amazing today. done here I feel like I can easily send it over these berms no problem with this much power literally going up this steep hill right here is like nothing literally nothing for this thing that's why I call it the beast first one was a beast this is beast number two aka the real beast ain't not one hill here this thing can't conquer I was getting ready to go hit a jump over there and I see this little piece in the ground. This is mine. Thank God I look down. It goes somewhere in here. Not 100% sure. We'll figure it out. what's supposed to go right here but I know that if I pull this up this lever right here this whole thing collapses so I'm gonna go back home now do a little bit more research try to figure out how to keep that from happening because that's too easy you just needs to pull it up and it folds so heading back home so I'm on my way home I stop by ride now obviously just to ride through all the bikes and motorcycles and I see this Vander Hall is the name of this cool piece of equipment. Uh, I figure I'd stop and just kind of show you guys this cool piece, piece of machinery. <laughs> 